Hi guys, welcome back to Engineers Tech Hub channel. So in this video, we will discuss Optum Global Solution second round interview question for automation test engineer for two to five years of experience. So let's move you know for the first question. So first question is your what is your roles and responsibility in your project, right? So this answer you have to give as per your profile. So I have already made the playlist for, you know, if you are showing, uh, if you are showing your experience as a manual tester, or if you are showing experience as a automation testing, or if you are showing the experience, relevant experience like manual with manual with automation, what you have to tell tell me about your sorry roles and responsibility it's not only you have to tell and you have to only prepare for the theory you have to know what you are going to tell because the interviewer will ask you the cross questions okay so first question is you know so sorry if just i will give you some brief uh, answer for that roles and responsibility end of the video i will share the complete playlist where you can get the proper answer so let's like my profile is like i am showing total five year of experience relevant experience two year in manual testing and two year in automation so what do you have to tell tell me about yourself so generally every company we follow the agile process and we having the two week sprint inside this two week sprint so in my organization i have a multiple task I am involved in manual with automation work. So manual, like sometimes we are getting the defect testing, sometimes we are getting, uh, you know, for CR testing, right? Or sometimes, you know, we have to do some regression and all, right? So these are the manual part we have to take care, finding the scenario, writing the test cases and all. This thing you have to take care. Second thing you have for automation, what we are doing, if you are having the, any new, uh, sorry, any regression or any test cases we are missing in our automation, then we have to add new uh, script in our framework. Okay, then in weekly, we are going to execute our regression because we are having a release, we have a, a deployment, then we have to check our, you know, anything is going to break in our application or not. If you have some failure, like in the automation, I'm going to tell you, you have check your report and we have some failure, right? So what is how to fix your failure? So first of all, we can check it is a defect or it is a script issue. If it is a defect, then we have to raise the defect. Then every company, we have a one test management tools and Jira is very common. So in our project, I'm using the Jira. If you have any defect, then we can raise the defect and we can assign to the developer. That is the one task. If any script failures are there, might we be having the, some synchronization issue or might be some, your expert is going to fail, then we can fix it and we can rerun. If our report will generate 100%, then we can say up this report to the management or our lead or you know, customer. So that is my roles and responsibility. You can tell your roles and responsibility in your own, own profile, how you are, you know, you are showing your profile. Okay, that is the first question. Second question is how to fix class def found error. Okay, so let me show you how to fix this. We have collected a multiple, uh, you know, ways to fix this error. So while using Maven, remove all the external jar from your Java build path. Okay, that is the first point. Maven will download and resolve all the required dependencies. Second point, if you are using Selenium jar within a project, then add only required external jar within the Java build path and remove unused one. Okay. So whatever the things you are using in your Selenium, then you have to use, you, you should not use any unnecessary jars and all. Remove all the unwanted dependencies from your pom.xml file. Fourth point is 
clean your workspace within the your IDE periodically only to build your project with required dependencies. Another one, while while you execute your Maven project, so this is the common things we have to do while doing the executing your Maven project. So you have to do Maven clean, you have to do Maven install, and then you have to do Maven test. Okay, so this is the second question. So let me show you another question. What is null pointer exception? So this is a very common interview question, guys. So just I have collected some points. So let me just go here. So here, what is the null pointer exception? So null pointer exception is a runtime exception. So you will get null pointer as a runtime in Java that occurs when variable is access which is not pointing to any object and refer to a nothing or null pointer exception nothing or null so null is a default value of object so what happened if variable will not point any object in this case you will get null pointer exception so this is the third questions do you develop okay do you have a DevOps knowledge like Jenkins or Git? So Git and Jenkins are common tools which is used in our automation uh, project. So that is you have to prepare well for you have to learn Jenkins and Git. What the challenges you have faced while developing your framework? So guys, this is the, you know, again, some tricky question if you did not develop the framework before, but you have, when you are going for the interview, just you can develop some a small framework then you are you having the you know more uh, like a confident while developing your frame you know while giving the answer so what the challenges you have faced while developing the framework from the scratch so first challenge is you know we have to design our framework we have to design our framework as per the customer requirement and the main challenge of developing the framework is your business library business library means like you have to develop the functionality to you know like read the data from the excel sheet you have to develop the functionality from read the data from properties file you have to develop the fun functionality for every failure we are getting one report with a screenshot so when you are integrating this all the concept we are getting a lot of the challenge while doing the integration right just i am giving the one uh, brief the things so you can mention the same thing when you are going to develop your framework another challenge is if you are getting some uh, new requirement if you have developed the framework or if you are getting some uh, your application we have uh, some integration with uh, you know non web tool mean non web application like windows and all so that things we have to implement and we have to take the help from the others too like i can give the example of auto it right so we are handling the uh, file handling concept by using the auto it so when we are going to do the integration what will happen we are getting the lot of the challenge when we are going to do this all the business library integration and you have to also develop the you know reusable functionality for the selenium web driver so again that is not a like challenge we can develop a meta demand we can call as per the project requirement okay you can add your point as well so just i have given i have shared my real time experience what i have faced and whatever what i have faced the challenge in my project okay so you guys can make the collect your point in your own way and you can prepare and you can represent okay so let me move in the another question did you work on the healthcare domain? If you know about the healthcare domain, please explain. So again, uh, I want to add here one more point. So if you are attending any interview, so when you know HR will call to you, just you can ask them, you know, if you are not aware, you know, what domain they are going to use, then you can just ask, hey, this type of the domain you guys are working might be HR no or HR doesn't know. If you know the thing, then we can prepare, right? Like Optum is handling healthcare domain. If we already know, then just we can, 
if you did not work on before healthcare domain, then we can take the help from the Google and we can prepare well. So if you, yes, then you can, might be you did not work in your healthcare domain. And this question they will ask to you, how you can tackle this question. I can tell, hey, I having the different domain knowledge, but uh, this healthcare is new for me, but I am very excited to learn healthcare domain and within a less duration of the time, I can explore my domain knowledge, right? So like that, you can represent in front of the interviewer. Okay, so you can tell like that also. Okay, um, or you can prepare, or if you're getting the call from the optum, you have to basics idea about of healthcare domain. Okay, so let's move in the another question. Explain your project, guys. So I have already made this video for that. How to explain your project? So you know, project. What you have to explain? You have to explain here. First thing which domain you have worked right you have to give the one huge case for a to e flow like i can give you the example of i have i have worked on uh, you know e-commerce domain so i can tell the some you know a uh, huge case of whatever the functionality you have developed then you can also include here your framework part also if, if the interviewer will ask to you can you explain the automation part of the framework also or project also then and then we can here we can highlight our domain knowledge so that's all so we having the same question that's all here and let me show you this is the very you know uh, in uh, common questions we have let me share you how you will prepare your answer as well even in this video i have explained many things but you can go to my channel that is called Engineers Tech Hub. Inside this Engineers Tech Hub, you, you can go in the playlist. In this playlist, you can get here, you know, real time interview question and answer. I have share many things. Okay, I have share here many things. If you will go inside this playlist, just I'm going inside this playlist, you can see here. And click here. Okay, you can see. Okay. In this playlist, what I have For covered project management in this playlist, time. I have covered what the challenges you have faced. Here we have covered common interview question and answer with the real time. You can just go through that like I have, you know, how to explain your project. I have already mentioned. Here I have also mentioned how to explain your framework. Here what the challenges you have faced in your project so i have mentioned everything that is the one thing you have to go and another thing you know i have collected top level of the mnc you know questions for automation test engineer so if you are going for the you, you if you are planning to attend the interview you can take your interview from here right so we will get your you know how much you have prepared and all so you can just go through this so we have a Oracle, we have a Nest Technology, IT Sinfors Tech, DBS, ADP, Deloitte, Genpack. So all the top level of the MNC, you know, questions and answer I have, you will get this placed. So that's all uh, guys for in this video. So please share and subscribe my channel. And if you are new in the channel, please subscribe. So if I will upload any new video, then you will get notification. So please share with your friends and subscribe and support the channel. So I'm also getting more confidence if you guys are giving the feedback and comment and all. So please share and subscribe and press bell icon. See you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.